God and Doubt Adidas Samraj People today talk about God as if one could thoroughly deny that God exists. The puzzlement about whether or not God exists is not a true question at all. There is no genuine doubt that God exists. Obviously, you did not create yourself, nor can you sustain yourself independently, nor can you spontaneously uncreate yourself. You can only be confused by illusions of doubt, and these illusions can create the sense of separation from the living divine. Such doubts are only illusions, whereby we become self-possessed, self-destructive, loveless and incapable of ecstasy. We are lived. We are part of a great process that is ultimately mysterious, a process in which we do not know. God, or the inherent and transcendental reality, clearly exists. Each of us is, is inherently obliged to relate to the divine through love and to fulfil the law of sacrifice that is revealed to us in every moment of existence. The divine reveals itself in our sacrifice through intuitive illumination and through a process of psychophysical transformation and ultimate translation of self into the real. Only the awakened devotee truly understands or realises the nature of God, the reality of God. There is no justifiable reason to doubt the divine reality. Doubt is simply a reflection of ourselves, our reluctance to fulfil the law of sacrifice and to become lawfully oriented to infinity. Doubts about whether or not God exists are descriptions of man in his recoil from infinity. Impenetrable doubt cannot be logically justified in the myths of things. Concepts or beliefs about God may be doubted, but that which is divine and eternal is always perfectly obvious and therefore inherently beyond the conventional disposition we feel as doubt. You are always capable of doubt because doubt is a condition of yourself. It is a form of contraction. And when you involve yourself in contraction, you become mad, neither relational nor ecstatic. You have no clarity, no understanding, no capacity to transcend your own reactivity and isolation. Find yourself in that position and then you start wondering if God is real or if God exists. But God is reality. God is existence. The mind may know doubt, but it cannot know what God or reality or existence is. The divine is, therefore, beyond knowledge and doubt, which are only ordinary conventions of mind and experience. The divine is realised only through ecstasy or self-transcendence beyond knowledge and doubt. The living God may be neither doubted nor known, but only realised. God may only be loved. Therefore, hear the critical argument of this way of radical understanding or divine ignorance. Through awakening to the intuition of the divine, the unprovable and undoubtable divine is simply tacitly obvious. God is simply reality. God is the process of existence altogether. And God ultimately transcends the process and the manifestations of all manifest experience. March 23rd, 1978